so you're uh, you're scorching to start the season, 52% from the field, 47% from three. Um, is there anything in particular you attribute that to? You trying to jinx me? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, just uh, taking great shots, not settling for good shots, and um, you know it's my, I mean, third year with Steve and the coaching staff, and. Oh, it might be my fourth year. I'm not even sure. Uh, fourth. I'm, yeah, it's my fourth. Wow. And um, I'm just used to the offense. I know I'm going to get my looks. And I know, uh, you know, where my teammates want me to go. And um, I just say the familiarity with the offense and just uh, being in great shape. You feel like you're um, on autopilot sometimes? Yeah, especially during the season. Uh, definitely autopilot. And a lot, but autopilot still takes a lot of focus, you know, every night. When you look at the numbers in this last trip, you guys trimmed turnovers down and had more shots you know, per game than compared to before. What do you think were the key to that uh, improvement? Probably just knocking off the early season rust. Uh, like I said before, familiar, uh, everyone's getting more used to the offense, the set, especially the new guys and the rooks, rookies as well. And um, our focus is on another level, I think. Uh, we kind of had a couple wake-up calls, you know, getting the, getting beat up pretty bad. So uh, I think we're aware that everyone's going to give us our best, sh their best shot now. So, Ricky, how, what have you thought of what, uh, what Jordan has done? Uh, well, Jordan's been great for us. I mean, he's only going to get better. One of the best athletes we have. Um, does everything, whether it's steals, blocks, rebounds, finishing at the rim. And he's... Uh, He's obviously a great asset for us and he continues to get to work in every day. So I'm really proud of him and I know he's not satisfied at all. How does the team embrace him, I guess? Like we saw a video of Steve Kerr's and Pat him on the back saying you're going to be a great pro, keep working at it. Like what, what kind of coaching is he looking at? Uh, he gets a lot, but uh, I know he, he also, uh, I know Jaron Collins is also on his head every day, making sure he doesn't feel too good about himself. So Steve might pat him on the back. But JC's right there to bring him back down. So uh, uh, he uh, gets a healthy dose of both, which you need. You know, you don't want to get too high, you don't want to get too low. Wait, when you guys are home for seven or eight days, like you will be this week, is that a, like a, a good time to sort of find that rhythm that maybe, I mean, you guys are playing well now, but to, to kind of get into a groove? Oh, yeah. Uh, anytime you're at home, you want to take advantage. I mean, three years prior to this, we only lost nine regular season games at home. We really pride ourselves in that and protecting our home court. Obviously, we got off to a rough start at home this year, so we're going to right the ship. And I mean, we obviously look to win every game at home, no matter who the opponent is. Okay, when you guys played at Miami last year, I remember you were saying after the game that you felt like you should have been a little bit further out on Dion on that last shot. How easy or hard is it to forget that when you have other games on the schedule to play? Or is that something that lingers in your mind? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't linger that much. Uh, it was a whole feels like 100 games ago, uh, but, you know, I'll just be be aware if that situation comes back again, just try and make Dion dribble the ball. And, uh, uh, but for me, it's a new season, so it's a new, uh, it's a new shot at him. How do you feel about your, how do you feel about your performance defensively so far this season? I mean, you, you're on the, you know, the other team's toughest wing still every, every game. How do you feel yeah. like, like you've done? I think I've done well. I think I'm averaging near a block a game. I'm trying to average one block a game for a, for a shooting guard. That'd be really good. I don't know how many you've ever done. You know, that'd be really nice. So if I get a block a game and just play stalwart defense on whoever I'm guarding, I'll be satisfied. You feel like it fuels the off your offense at all? Oh yeah, every night. Especially get stops, get in transition, get those transition threes. Oh yeah, that's where uh, that's where I make my living. It's obviously early, but how have you seen kind of Nick go through that process of getting acclimated yeah. with the guys and the role that, that goes with that? Yeah. He's going to have huge games for us. You saw it in the first game. That won't be the last. We'll have many of those. He's too great of a player not to. And uh, his time's coming. Whether it's tonight, Wednesday, or a couple games after that, he's going to be great for us. Uh, he's going to win us a lot of games this year. Has been approached a few times for a, a TV show? Yes. Up all the time? Would you watch that? Uh, I'll watch the trailer. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs>